let's draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this frame. Well, our roller does not have a horizontal reaction, so only the pin is going to resist that horizontal 1 kN load by horizontal equilibrium of forces. And we also have a vertical reaction at the pin and roller. So if we take a sum of moments about the pin, with anti-clockwise being positive, then we have minus 1 kN by the moment arm, minus 2 kN by the moment arm, and then plus the reaction By by a moment arm of 3 meters is equal to 0. So By is 1.33 kN. And if you take a vertical sum of forces, with upwards being positive, we have A Y plus B Y minus 2 kN is 0. So that gives A Y is 0.67 kN. And now we'll draw the shear force diagram. And what I'm going to do is break up this frame into column and beam members to get a better visual. So if we cut the column from bottom to top, we have the shear force being constant at 1 kN in the column. And if we cut the right column, we can see there's no horizontal reaction, so the shear force is zero in this column. Now for the left column, we had a reaction of AY, which was 0.67 kN. So for this column to be in equilibrium, we must have an equal force on the top of the column. And by Newton's third law, we have an equal and opposite force acting on that beam, which has the same magnitude. So this force causes a jump in the shear force diagram of 0.67 kN. And then up to the 2 kN load, the shear force is constant. And a 2 kN load causes a jump in the shear force downwards. So therefore 0.67 minus 2 is minus 1.33 kN. And the shear force is constant thereafter. And that final jump is equal to By. Because by the same argument, we have 1.33 kN on this column. So therefore we have 1.33 in the top to put in equilibrium. And consequently, 1.33 kN acting on that beam. And now we'll draw in the bending moment diagram in a similar way by breaking up the members. So if you visualize the deformation of this frame, this column here is going to behave like a cantilever with a point light acting at the end of it. So if you cut that cantilever, we can see that the bending moment is the force by the moment arm. So the bending moment at the top of the column is 1 kN by 2 meters, which is 2 kN meters. And because there's no externally applied moment at the joint, this bending moment is equal to that in the beam. Now on the other side, we saw that the beam had 1.33 kN acting on it. So 1.33 by the moment arm, which is 2 meters up to the point load. So that gives 2.66 kN meters where the point load is. And the bending moment diagram is piecewise linear in that beam because there's only a point load acting on it. And you can also observe that there's no horizontal reaction in the roller, so therefore the bending moment in that column is zero. Please subscribe, like and comment to help me reach more students.